I woke up at 5 a.m. this morning for work, so this is going to be a chaotic video. And speaking of chaotic, here's some goddamn unboxing video. Editing Spooky here. Yes, I do realize my collar is popped. It happened naturally when I put my microphone on. Please don't comment on it. I know it looks silly and I look like a douchebag. Thank you. No, I didn't want to wait until the Black Friday sells. Buying movie gives me serotonin. Now I don't want to wait till November to get that serotonin. I want it right now. I'm not addicted. You're addicted. You're addicted. You make me buy this shit. It's your fucking fault. Now air some knife ASMR. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's good. That's good. So I'm gonna take that off. Uh, and uh, before you give me shit for my knife wielding, uh, this is like the least sharp knife ever. This couldn't even cut through paper. That's why I only cut tape with it. But before getting to the vinegar syndrome, which uh, don't worry, they're all slip covers because um, why else would I have paid full price if they weren't the beautiful slip covers? I got some Amazon shit and it's really rare that I get a lot of package at once. And just before we continue, um, I saw a thread on a Facebook group that said that unboxing videos were cringe. Now I'm gonna make a, um, I'm gonna ask you guys, should I keep making these unboxing videos? Are they cringe or are they lit? Yeah, I'm trying uh, this new thing. I'm trying the Zoomer demo demographic. Um, just my fellow young kids. Uh, I just wanted to be relatable for a second. But speaking of which, relatable to the kids, let's unbox physical media. Cause that's relatable. So of course, uh, I, I, downloaded, I downloaded an app uh, that kept track of my collection and I saw that I, that I had 16 movies by Takashi Miki and 16 movies by Jess Franco. Now that's a problem because I want to be a Franco nerd. So if he's not the second director I own the most movies from, that's a problem. So I bought this. This is two female spies with flowered panties. Yes, I bought that. Stop judging. And the first 3,000 DVD copies have a bonus DVD because Severin always does that, but like, isn't it all like I? Clearly, this is a blue case. This is like old Severin. They never sell out of their shit. I'm, I think it's all planned. It's not really limited to 3,000. It's limited to the entire fucking run of this movie. Don't. And it's uh, it's uh, the 87 minute Spanish uh, version. So is this a film from the Franco era where he was back in Spain directing films? Yes, this looks like it. So it's from the 80s. Um, what is it about? Well, clearly it's about two female spies wearing flowered panties. It's the fucking title, you moron. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I love you guys. I love you. I'm just trying to... Because Severin is the last company that does this shit and I don't know why. We've, we've evolved past these, Severin. We've truly evolved past these. Why are you still doing this shit? Even in their new... So yes, that's indeed the two disc with the limited DVD of Opalo de Fuego, which is not the drink that um, juggalos throw at each other, but it is indeed the Spanish cut. Doesn't have alternative artwork. I don't mind. Uh, it's a good, it's a cool looking, um, it's cool looking artwork. The only problem is Oh no, okay, I was gonna say they don't wear flowered panties, but uh, they do on the cover, so that's good. That's good. That's good. Good Franco. Good. So, of course, uh, if you follow me on Instagram, which is uh, spooky celluloid but with uh, zeros instead of O's, because uh, I'm fucking elite gamer boy. Um, uh, you've probably saw a post about Jean Rallin and um, I really, the new vampire really like woke me back up to uh, um, enjoying Jean Rallin's, uh filmography. Uh, I have a few movies from him. Uh, I have The Vampire Volume 1, which is uh, pretty cool, pretty cool. And I have a few of his non-vampire films and I wanted to explore more of his filmography so I got 
The Living Dead Girl, which I'm not sure if this is, um, I don't really know Rob Zombie, like I think Living Dead Girl is the name of a song or something he did, I don't know, I don't follow Rob Zombie, his movies are shit, um, but yeah, so this is uh, from Redemption, the Redemption line, and it's a film by Jean Rollin. Now, if you've never heard of Rollin, as not a lot of people do, honestly, if it wasn't for Redemption, it would probably be forgotten to time, but they did good work um, releasing a lot of his shit. He's this French exploitation filmmaker uh, that really is hard to compare to anyone. Like I said on Instagram, it's probably as close as is if uh, just Franco kept making uh, like vampire films, but even that, that's not really a fair comparison. It, his movies are always convoluted plot-wise. The acting is not the best, uh, the dialogue is not the best, but it's in French, so if you read the subtitles, it's not too bad. And they're really surrealist, kind of experimental, but they keep that B-movie um, style in the sense that they're kind of cheesy, the plot line is kind of in a, would, is appropriate for an exploitation film of that time, which is the 70s, yes, the 70s, because uh, he made later films, but the 70s, like, they're, they're similar to B-movies from that time, but they're done in a very French way, which beautiful cinemat cinematography, uh, beautiful women, um, scenes of them walking i don't i really don't know how to explain jean relin to someone who doesn't who hasn't who has never seen a jean relin film uh but i like his movies and um uh, like i have this uh it concludes i i bought the dvd um but it includes a little a little booklet I don't know if it's the same that I got with a lot of his other films uh, but yeah it's honestly pretty excited to see this it's a la morte vivante yeah I don't know so seven minutes in yeah these unboxing videos are fucking long I'm sorry but are they cringe or are they lit that's the question gonna be the fucking I have an older audience from what I've seen so you guys probably hate my fucking guts right now with my zoomer terms uh, but yeah this is the vinegar syndrome this is the one that's in the title I don't know why I spent like five minutes explaining Jean Valin to people who obviously no fucking care about Jean Valin because all you care about is fucking title you <laughs> fucked uh, what what should I do with the box? A, throw it. B, just put it back there. <laughs> you know me. What should I do with the bubble wrap? You guessed it. <laughs> These beautiful slip covers. That's why I didn't wait for the sale because I wanted the slip covers, and I know they're not gonna be sold out. But I'm stra I'm I'm fucking addicted guys I'm fucking addicted uh, this is blades this is a jaws but with on a golf course which is appropriate because right now for work I'm editing golf videos yes that sounds as exciting as it's it's as exciting as it sounds so I think this is like a lawnmower on a golf course going shit going wild and murdering people and I think this was originally yes distributed by Troma which is always the seal of great filmmaking and I'm gonna open it because they always have the reverse color co co color coming with the original art so this is the commissioned art and that is the original art and what I do because I know all of you guys fucking care about this is I slip that in mm -hmm. perfect fit and then I take the slip cover I sell it for like $50 make my monies back and buy cocaine with that and then you just you slide it open and beautiful you got the beautiful commission cover you got the original poster art best of both worlds like Anna Montana but with uh, movies that are way too fucking expensive this is like $35 each oh fuck me 
This, this is the reason I ordered from Vinegar Syndrome. It's just, <laughs> you guys know, you order one thing and you're like, I can't just order one thing. I got to order a hundred bucks worth of fucking titles. And it's WNUF Halloween special. I really wanted this because it's Halloween vibes. Come on guys, it's October. I want this shit. Uh, um, and this was like crazy out of print, crazy hard to find. And then Vinegar Syndrome started a label, a, well a partner label, that releases indie like uh, flicks. And this is, one, this is their first release. And goddamn, oh, they already flipped the cover for me. How nice of them. But this slipcover is goddamn beautiful. And I think I'm really going to like this film. I'm probably gonna watch it tonight if I'm not too sleepy. So it's basically a, um, a broadcast from a local TV station um, recorded from 1987, including all the ads and everything, but all of that is made up and it's kind of like a found footage film which I usually would not be too um, giddy about but um, I can't fucking cut this open um, yeah I know I shouldn't cut towards me but your boy likes to live dangerously and if I like I said it's not a sharp knife it won't kill me don't worry the worst it'll do is like a scratch and um, a scratch, yeah. Scratch, like, oh, I, okay, this is, I don't even know if I'm gonna cut, honestly, I take a break from editing when I make, make these types of videos, because I, my life now is reading and editing, so, kind of like to take a break. Like, my Thursday videos are way more relaxed. Obviously, I've been talking about goddamn unboxing shit for the past, 12 minutes, so what? what is this? New releases? Oh, is that? Oh, okay, it's their vinyls. So, yeah, this looks pretty fucking cool. It doesn't have reversible cover art, which is a rare, but it has this little blue screen of death. Am I even gonna pose this video? I don't know, it's chaotic. I. Finally, yes, finally, goddamn, about fucking time. Uh, <laughs> I bought this because of the title. It's probably gonna be shit. It's another trauma movie. Uh, but I I, 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 I'm, I dig trauma. Recently, I watched Massacre in Dinosaur Va That's That's an Italian cannibal film. What the fuck am I talking about? Um, Massacre, Memorial Valley Massacre which is kind of that 80s trauma cheesy over the top and this fits perfectly and I've heard good things about this one honestly slipcover is beautiful though which is the reason why we buy a lot of these there's worms on there oh I fucking hate worms uh, Ricky Martin has come back as re oh okay they, they are I, I guess that's their new thing they preemptively flip the cover that's 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 nice of them because that means less work for me at least that's you know because that's a lot of work flipping this over so this looks pretty cool I mean oh is that oh shit there's two different covers I don't know which one I prefer I just like the title I just looks fun looks fun all girl college there's surely gonna be so many lesbian scenes like at least 13 I don't know why I said 13 because that's my lucky number no my lucky number is 19 what the fuck am I saying so yeah this looks pretty badass and I was recently I've been in the mood for like cheesy slashers one of my favorite is uh, still um, the mutilator slash um, fall break that's a fucking good movie so to conclude Girl School Screamers, I forgot that name for a while. WNUF Halloween Special, recorded on SPLP or EP. I don't know, they didn't mention. Blades, Golf Killer, Golf Course, woo! Jean Valens, The Living Dead Girl, woo! And finally, Jess Franco's probable masterpiece, uh, Two Female Spies in f with Flowered Panties. If you have a flower pan, okay, I'll just 
cut this fucking shit off. <laughs> <laughs>